What's going on everyone? Today I'm going to show you how a macro lens can change the game for your photography and videography. Check it out. So first off, what the heck is a macro lens? What does it do? How does it work? These lenses allow you to take incredibly close up photos. They're built to allow for extremely close focusing. This is perfect for nature, food, really any small object or anything with tons of detail that is difficult to see with your eye. In general, your subject in the final photo or video is gonna end up larger than that object is in real life. So a leaf is gonna be super zoomed in in your final photo or video. So if you really wanna capture detail, these lenses are huge and they can make a massive difference in both photography and videography. A lot of people have heard of macro lenses in the photography field and they understand that I want a close up photo of a bug or a leaf, they're gonna use this. But why is it good for filmmakers? Well, let me tell you, depth of field. These lenses work wonders when you're trying to get depth of field. Check out some of these shots that I've done in the past. You have such nice bokeh and beautiful blown out backgrounds when you're shooting with these macro lenses. Your subject is incredibly crisp, but your background has that awesome cinematic fall off of depth of field. I use the Canon 100mm 2.8 lens, and this thing is absolutely fantastic. Now, there's a big debate. There's an L version of this lens, and then there's a standard version. The standard version goes for about $600, uh, and the L version goes for about $800. Now, there is a little bit of a difference. The L version is going to have an image stabilization built into the lens, so this will allow you to get those steady shots without using a tripod. Now, this isn't necessarily a big deal when it comes to filmmaking and comparing the lenses because you'll most likely be using a tripod with a 100 millimeter lens anyway if you're shooting video. So I wouldn't necessarily factor that into the cost if you're using this lens for video. Now, one other improvement that the L lens has over the standard 100 millimeter is that it's gonna have a better autofocus. It's gonna be almost double the speed when it comes to autofocusing, but that really does depend and is not always the case. So really, the $200 difference, if you're in video, I would say go for the non-L lens. You're gonna save that $200 that you can invest elsewhere. And if you're in photography, then maybe that L lens is worth considering. But overall, these two lenses are gonna give you a fantastic image, whether you're in photo or video. Now, I just want you to look at some of these shots, whether it's photo or whether it's video macro photography and macro lenses give you fantastic results. You're getting that superb bokeh and you're getting that nice out of focus background with shallow depth of field. Now, why do you want shallow depth of field? That's gonna give you the cinematic nature that you're going for. These 100 millimeter Canon lenses open up to 2.8 as their f-stop, and that's gonna give you not only that depth of field, but the telephoto nature of this lens is really gonna add to it. I've done a couple music videos in the past where I've used this lens exclusively, and it gives me such awesome crisp results, and you don't even need to use it for close-up videos or close-up photos. You can actually use these lenses really in any means. I mean, go far away and make it as a wide lens. Do anything and just move around with this lens and give it a shot. You can get a variety of options using just this lens. What the macro lens is gonna allow you to do is get photos or get footage that you would never see with your normal eye. And that's what draws viewers into your work. They wanna see something in your art that looks different than what they might see if they just go out and walk on the street and use their eyes to look around. They wanna see art that can really show them something different about the world. And this lens will let you do that. So guys, this can make a huge difference. It's gonna give you both that option to have those close-up shots that are really stylistic, and it's also gonna give you an option to play with some other uses. You're gonna get that shallow depth of field and you're gonna be able to see just how it can be a huge improvement on your photography and videography. I use this lens all the time. No matter what I'm doing, it's gonna make a massive improvement on your shots. So check this out and let me know how you like it. Thanks guys. Be sure to like and subscribe and we'll check you back in the next one.